Hey everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to Show Me Mo Vegan. And today I'm sort of doing like a grocery haul, if you will. Um, this year I joined a CSA, and if you're not familiar with that, it stands for Community Supported Agriculture. And there's different variations, but the basic idea is that you pay a farmer up front for the season and they give you produce throughout the season. So in this way, you're partnering with a local farmer and you're also kind of participating in and even taking on a little of the risk because we all know there are good and bad years with crops. So when you join a CSA, there might be some weeks or seasons where you get more than you bargained for and some where you get a little less. But either way, you're always getting the freshest produce and you're supporting your local farmer. So it's a win-win for everyone. Some CSAs even have a work component where you do a little work on the farm itself. So that's kind of cool. So you get to learn where your food comes from and how it's produced. The one that I joined does not currently have a requirement like that. So I just paid for my produce at the beginning of the season. And now this is week one. We actually got off to a slow start. Um, I'm told they usually start a few weeks earlier, but this year it stayed cold well into April. So it's um, towards the end of May now where we're just getting our first share. So I'm gonna show you what I got and then I'll show you what I decide to do with it. And I think I'll keep doing a little series like this, showing what I get in my CSA. I probably won't do it every week, but definitely let me know in the comments if you like this video and I can for sure do more. So that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and see what I got this week. So the first thing that I saw that I was really excited about was strawberries. So I got some nice, beautiful local strawberries. And I actually ended up buying an extra box of the strawberries because when you shop local, you gotta get it while it's hot. And then I got some leeks. And this is the other reason why I'm so happy that I joined a CSA because leeks are one thing that I always tell myself I need to buy these more, but then I get into my habit of buying the same things every week and then I never buy leeks. So when you join a CSA, you're often getting things that you might not always buy at the grocery store. And I'm thinking I'm gonna make like a potato leek soup with these. So whatever I end up doing, I will show you and let you know. Next up, I got two bunches of beautiful radishes. I don't think I'm gonna do anything fancy with these. I'm literally just going to eat them in a salad. And then I've got a couple bunches of this beautiful dinosaur kale. This is one of my favorite kinds of kale. And look how beautiful it is. So if you're not shopping at your local farmer's market, definitely check it out because you might be surprised at what beautiful produce you can find. And for this, I think I'll make like a massaged kale salad or maybe just add the kale to my salads this week. And then I also did just get a mix of salad greens. So there's all kinds of different things in here. Honestly, I don't even know what all of the different plants are in here, but it's just a bunch of different lettuces. So again, I will just use that to make a salad with my radishes and my kale. And the last thing this week is a bag of arugula. So there you have it. There's all of my beautiful produce for the week. And I haven't eaten breakfast yet, but I think I'm gonna throw some of these strawberries on my oatmeal this morning. Delicious. <laughs>
to use the arugula I got, I decided to make a pesto and I wanted it to be sort of sweet and savory. So I'm chopping up these apples and I'm gonna roast them along with some onions and garlic. So I'm just chopping up the apples and cutting out some of the bad spots. And then I'm gonna take the skin off. I'm saving the cores and the skins there on a plate to nibble on because I don't wanna waste any of that. So it doesn't really matter what size or shape the apples are cut up into because it's all gonna be blended up anyway. And same with the onion. So I'm just cutting it into chunks. And then I'm also going to roast um, some cloves of garlic with it, but I'm gonna start just with the apples and onions because I don't want the garlic to burn, especially since I'm using just individual cloves instead of roasting a whole bulb. So you want to be careful not to let your garlic burn. And since I'm going to have the oven on, I decided I also wanted to bake some tempeh to go along with it. So I'm just slicing the tempeh very thinly. I'll put that in a container to season. And I'm just seasoning this simply with a little bit of barbecue sauce and some coconut aminos. If you really want to get that flavor all into the tempeh, it would be best to let this marinate for a while. But I don't always think ahead and I'm also not that particular. I think it'll taste delicious either way. So I'll just lay that out on a baking sheet and I'll put that in the oven along with my onions and apples. <music> After everything's done roasting, I'll finish up my pesto. I've added the arugula to a food processor here, and then I'll add the rest of the ingredients. I've got some mustard, and I will put all of the amounts and everything in a blog post for you linked below. Next up, I'm adding some apple cider vinegar, and then I'll add a little bit of nooch or nutritional yeast. Next, I'm adding in the roasted apples and onions and garlic. I am filling the food processor pretty full, but I'm just gonna put as much as I can in and then I'll pulse it a few times just to give myself more space before I add the rest of the ingredients. And then I'll just keep blending this until it's the consistency I like. You can add a little bit more apple cider vinegar or water as needed to thin the pesto out. I am oil free, so there's no oil in this pesto, but if you do consume oil and you want to, feel free to add that. And I decided to use my pesto just simply on some pasta. So I boiled up some whole wheat pasta noodles and mixed that in. And then I just crumbled up the baked tempeh on top. have some pesto left over so I stored that in a container in the fridge and here I'm prepping for my potato leek soup so I had already chopped up the leeks when I washed them and now I'm chopping up some garlic and the potatoes and I'm gonna end up partially blending this soup so it doesn't really matter exactly how the potatoes are chopped I'm just roughly chopping them up in similar shapes and sizes so they cook evenly And then I'll also chop up some celery to go in that soup. And I was prepping this before I was ready to cook, so that's why I'm just putting it in a couple of storage containers so that it's all ready to go when I'm ready to cook. So later in the day, 
I went ahead and just dumped everything in. So this is the leeks and celery. And again, like I said, I'm oil free. So I just used a little broth there to saute my veggies. And then I'm adding all my spices. Again, I will put a link to a blog post with all of the amounts and ingredients, but I used some garlic and onion powder, oregano, thyme, a bay leaf, and a little bit of black pepper. So I just saute that until the leeks start to soften. And then I'm adding my potatoes and garlic and just enough vegetable broth to cook everything up. I wanted this to be a pretty thick soup, so I didn't put too much liquid in because I also wanted to add a little bit of soy milk later. I like to find a soy milk that only has one ingredient, which is soybeans, and so that's what I have here. And I'm just adding a splash of soy milk. You could put as much as you like to get this as creamy as you want. And then I'm just using an immersion blender to blend up some of the big chunks. I didn't blend this completely smooth because I wanted a little bit of texture. Next up, I'm prepping my kale. So I decided to massage the kale. So after washing the kale, I'm just chopping it up and placing it in a large bowl and then I'm going to massage it. So massaging kale is a great way to make it a little easier to chew and also easier to digest. You're basically just breaking down the cell walls. That just gives it a little nicer texture so it's not so tough to chew. And you're literally just squeezing the kale between your hands. By the way, this is a great forearm workout because you're gonna be squeezing the kale for probably five to 10 minutes until some liquid starts coming out of the kale. You'll also notice that the volume is basically cut in half. So sort of like when you cook greens, they cook down to nothing. Massaging your greens will do the same. And then you can dress this up simply with some balsamic vinegar and lemon juice, however you like. I mixed it in with my other greens, as well as my radishes and some peppers. I've also got some lentils and mixed grains in my salad, and I'm having that alongside my potato leek soup. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I did with my CSA share this week. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments, like this video, and subscribe to my channel for more ideas and tips on living a whole food vegan life. I'll see you next time.